on this week's KSP News Show. In the first episode of 2015, we look at some of the new awesome features confirmed by Squad, deep space refueling and overhauled aerodynamics. And if Squad were to add in a planet, what would it be like? All that and more on this week's KSP News Show. Reporting live from the Kerbal Space Center, it's your host, Jin Lee Kerman. Good morning, evening, and afternoon, my fellow Kerbinauts. My name is Jin Lee Kerman. Welcome back. It has been such a long time since I have done a Kerbal Space Program news episode, what with Christmas and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to kick off the new year in epic fashion this time. I must apologize for the archaic intros um, in general, really. Um, obviously, they sound a bit tinny because of my old microphone, but I have my new microphone now, which makes me sound a lot clearer and a lot more professional, even though that's not really what I am. But that doesn't really matter. We're going to get straight into the awesome stories today, including overhauled aerodynamics and deep space refueling confirmed. Yes, that is very much correct. Squad, particularly Max Maps, as per usual, have confirmed that the next update for Kerbal Space Program, most likely to be called 0.9.1, or 0.90.1. The beta, the beta names confuse me, okay? But back to my point. Kerbal Space Program 0.91, or whatever they end up calling it, will have resource gathering and overhauled aerodynamics as their key functions. Max Maps put on Twitter on December 18th that it was the last day of work over at Squad in New Mexico before Christmas. This was a while ago. And he said, he can't say too much about the next update, however, expect um, overhauled aerodynamics and these new um, refueling systems, these resource gathering things. Similar, I'm guessing, to how the Keythane mod or the Carbonite mod works for Kerbal Space Program. And I think that's going to be a really awesome addition into the game. I can't tell you how many times I've run out of fuel in deep space and I've thought, well, why can't I just, like, I'm on EVE, why can't I just, like, scoop some of the, f the stuff out of the oceans, which legend says is made out of rocket fuel, and, I don't know, just take that, put it in my tanks, and burn it, and try and get myself up into orbit. Perhaps it's not quite as efficient as um, normal um, liquid, liquid fuel and oxidizer, perhaps it's not as efficient. Um, perhaps it maybe has only like a bit more efficiency than a solid rocket booster or something, but it helps just to get you off the surface as a contingency or what have you. But you could also add an extra layer to sort of purify it, which could make it a little bit more um, efficient, but who knows? That's just wild speculation and we don't even know if Squad will be adding such depth, shall we say, to this feature. As for the aer overhauled aerodynamics, um, this is an amazing change because, thank god, um, the aerodynamics at the moment in Kerbal Space Program, they aren't very good. Um, they are, it's basically like flying through a soup. It depends on, and the, the planet you're on depends on the type of soup. Like in EVE, you're, Eve, you're flying through like a, a very thick vegetable soup. And um, in, on Kerbing, you're throw, flowing through a nice like tomato soup. And on Juno, you're flowing through like a, a chicken broth sort of soup. I don't know why I'm, I'm liking likening the atmospheres to soup here, but um, that's what it's like at the moment in Kerbal Space Program 0.90. So, with the new aerodynamics, it's probably going to be a lot better. I'm thinking they're probably going to um, implement something similar to NIA rather than Ferrum Aerospace, because NIA is kind of softer than and more forgiving than the Ferrum Aerospace. Which is going to be better for new players, it means that their ships will not break apart coming on um, when they build their first ever plane. But either way, I really do think that the aerodynamics really did need an overhaul. And if they implemented Nia or FAR or any sort of aerodynamic mod, or even just overhauled it slightly so it was a little bit more realistic, I would be completely 100% down for that and I'm really glad that they're deciding to make this change when, when they decided to. But I want to get your guys' take on it. What do you think of these new changes? Personally, as I've just said, the overall aerodynamics and the deep space refueling is something that Kerbal Space Program has needed for a long time. 
like seriously, you can't, I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for these features <laughs> to come into the vanilla version of Kerbal Space Program. But what would you guys like to see added into Kerbal Space Program 0.91? If you could add anything into there, what would you do? What would you add? Would you add, I don't know, life on other planets? Somehow I don't think that is a realistic prospect, but that's just an idea, I suppose. Um, I'm just ch I'm just chucking ideas out there because who knows squad might see this video and they might get inspired or something like that But yeah, leave your suggestions in the comments down below Speaking of um, implemented things though. Yes, indeed This next story spawns from a, a couple of things that I've been reading on some random forum pages on reddit and whatever over the past couple of weeks and they are rumors so to speak of a new planet being introduced into 0.91 and as far as I'm aware, these rumours are false, so please don't think, oh my god, squad's adding a planet, because for all we know, they may not, and the planets that we have at the moment are probably going to be the ones that are in the final release of the game. But again, who knows, we can't take that for certain. But I wanted to get your guys' scope today. I wanted to know what you guys would make of a planet. What, not, not so much what you'd make of a planet, but more, what would it look like? If you could add a planet, into, if you could add your dream planet into Kerbal Space Program, where in the Kerbal system would it be? What would it look like? So what colour? Um, what would its gravity be? Um, would it have any moons, etc. Stuff like that. I want to know what it would be like. Personally, I would quite like to see a Uranus um, clone or a Uranus sort of likeness in Kerbal Space Program. Or maybe a Saturn likeness with rings and um, perhaps just beyond the orbit of Joule. Maybe make Elu the moon, similar to what the um, Gasp Giant 2 that has been long awaited in the Kerbal community. Similar to that, and maybe give it rings as well. Give it rings, make Elu the moon of it. And everyone's probably thinking, who, ha who plays vanilla Kerbal Space Program, well, rings are surely quite hard to do. Well, they, re they really aren't at the end of the day. We've seen... Um, We've seen in the Astronomer's Visual Pack that rings are actually a thing that can actually occur within Kerbal Space Program, within the Unity Engine, so we know that it's possible. So, i quite like to see that implemented, to be honest. Um, but, I'd like, like I say, I'd like to get you guys' opinion. If you could add in the so-called extra planet that's long been fabled throughout the Kerbal Space Program community, what would it be like? I want to know, I want to know. Leave it in the comments down below. And so yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up this episode of KSP News, guys. Sorry it was a short one, uh, we really haven't got all that much information this week. Uh, hence why it's more just been speculation towards the latter half of the video. What with what the features could be like in point nine one and this um, planet discussion, I suppose. It's more of a discussion video, I suppose, today. Uh, quick updates with the channel before you ask. Um, I have sort of written a song and maybe recorded it, a parody song for Kerbal Space Program. Um, I'm currently in the process of making the music video for that. I don't know when it'll be up, probably within the next couple of weeks. And I think I'll say that's my uh, 200 subscriber special. Um, I don't know if it's actually going to be any, any good at all, because I suck at singing. And so, yeah, that's going to be, um, that's going to be interesting. That's going to make me seem like a right idiot. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about um, with regards to the channel. Uh, we will be having another KSP mission which I shall be filming once I finish this. It is going to be to Minmus and then, then we'll go with an interplanetary mission to... I don't know, guys, I think yeah, that's another thing I'd like you to choose. I'd like you to choose my next destination after Minmus for my KSP mission series. Please do leave that in the comments down below if you reached this far as well. But yeah, that's pretty much going to round off this episode, guys. I, my name is Jin Lee Kerman, and as always, stay classy.